precious, precious anointing, your precious spirit that gives us insights into the word of God. So right now, I thank you that you will unfold the word to us. Thank you, Father, for thinking through my mind and speaking through my lips a relevant word for the people of God. For we know your people are precious in your sight. They're valued by you. Therefore, we value them also enough to give them the right word in this time. We thank you for the workings of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 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 Thank you for watching the God is Able Telecast anytime you're in the Tarboro area. Please feel free to continue to come and join us in the Power Pack services. We believe that a church alive is worth the drive, so we want to invite you to come. Services are held here every Sunday morning beginning at 11 o'clock, and we would love to have your face in the place. Also, you can log on to our website, check out our books, our DVDs, those CDs, those things that can be a blessing to you. And if you are not excited, get excited with us as we have purchased 11 acres on Main Street along with this 1.4 acres of property where we believe that we're going to build a new sanctuary to glorify God in. So get excited with us. As well as you can sow your seed, you can write us at P.O. Box 1462, Tarboro, North Carolina, and every penny of it will be used for the upbuilding of God's kingdom. We'll be letting you know more about how you can get involved in that project at a later date. But those of you that are here and those that are watching, get your Bibles out, raise your Bible up, put it in the devil's face, and make a bold statement and say, this is my Bible. This is my Bible. I believe. I, believe. I, am. I am who this book, who this book tells, me tells me that I am. I believe, I believe I can do, I can do. What, this what this book tells me, tells me. I, can do. I can do. And I thank God, I thank God that, today, that today, right now, right now my, life my life shall change. Shall change. I'll, never I'll never ever be the same. Be the same. In, Jesus name, In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Those of you that have your Bible, let's go to Matthew chapter 17. Matthew chapter 17. We're going to look at verses 1 through 9, Matthew chapter 17, verses 1 through 9, and it reads as follows, and after six days, Jesus, take it Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringeth them up into a high mountain apart, notice that, take it Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringeth them up into a high mountain apart. And was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with him. Then answered Peter and said, Jesus, said unto him, Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elias. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud, which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were so afraid. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise, and be not afraid. When they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man save Jesus only. And as they came down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. From these verses of Scripture, Matthew 17, verses 1 through 9, I'm, I want to talk to you off this message, favored and empowered through your inner circle. Favored and empowered through your inner circle. As we approach this time of year, we have to recognize that uh, Jesus came on the scene to save his people from their sins. The word sins really means, is the Greek word hamatia, which really means the missing of the mark. Jesus came to help man be reconciled to God. In other words, Jesus came so that God and man would no longer be en enemies and that man would no longer be alienated from the commonwealth of Israel, but that man could have a quality, wholesome relationship with God. And in this time, we have to understand that God wants us to have a vertical relationship with him and a horizontal relationship with man like none other. And we have to understand that if we're going to be favored and empowered in this time, 
and we're going to see the favor of God. Remember how Jesus grew, Luke 2, 52, that we've been talking to you about this whole year. Jesus grew in favor with God and man. So he was empowered and he was favored by his inner circle. We know in the Bible, the Bible speaks of the tabernacle. The tabernacle consisted of three basic things, the outer court, the, the uh, holy place, and the holy of holies. We know in the holy of holies, amen, they dealt with the Shekinah or the glory of God or God himself. The high priest could only go in once a year. But notice, that's how man is built with three um, uh, we are tripartite beings, spirit, soul, and body. Your spirit will be considered the holy of holies. The soul will be considered the outer court. And of course, the body, I mean the uh, holy place, and the body will be considered, amen, the outer court. We recognize that Jesus takes his inner circle up. Peter, James, and John were his inner circle. There was the multitude, there were the 12 disciples, and then there were these three. Are you hearing me? And Jesus allowed the three to see some things that neither the multitude nor the other saw. These three saw some things that the other eight did not see. Was it 19, 11, 12, 9, rather, did not see. <laughs> so we recognize that Jesus wanted them to see some things that the others did not see. In fact, he even tells them what you see. They saw Moses, they saw Elijah, and then they saw Jesus, and then suddenly, amen, they were talking about building three tabernacles, and God spoke and said, this is my beloved son, hear ye him, and suddenly won't nobody left there but Jesus, and the Bible said that Jesus charged them, telling them not to tell any man about this experience to after the son of man is risen. In other words, this was something that was for his inner circle. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm favored, I'm favored. And, empowered and empowered through, through my, inner my inner circle. It was Pastor Van Moody, Pastor Van Moody, who said, relationships are like elevators. The right ones will take you up, the wrong ones will take you down. I'm going to say it again. Relationships are like elevators, the right ones will take you up, but the wrong ones will take you down. Amen? It's very important that we understand that because favor a lot of times is a clue that you are where you belong, and favor is also is a clue that you are with who you are assigned to be with. Again, I want you to understand something about this message that you are hearing, that this message is not to be a put down or a bashing of anyone, but this message is to help heighten the importance of having the right people around you. That's right. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. I, need I need to heighten my awareness, heighten my awareness. That, is that is very important to have the right people, the right people. Around, me. around me. Amen? Amen. Right. It was Alex Ely, Alex Ely who said, protect your inner circle. Invest in people who you know will feed you just as much goodness as you do them. In other words, invest in people who will feed you just as much goodness as you feed them. You don't want to be feeding people goodness and they feeding you nastiness. You don't want to be trying to give your best to help somebody and they doing their best to hurt you. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. relationships. Are very, very are very, very important. Tell them again, they don't understand it. Tell them relationships, relationships are, very, very important. are very, very important. See, your relationship with God is critical. Man needs a relationship with God. Man must be born again. You that are watching me by the television, you need to be born again. You need Jesus Christ as your Savior and your Lord. But you also need to understand if God can really empower your life, if you really want to see the favor of God go to another level, then you have to understand that it's critical, it's important that your inner circle be made up of the right people. Yeah. Can you say amen? amen? Remember, if you are surrounded by haters and losers, you haven't worked hard enough to build your inner circle appropriately. That's your failure, not theirs. In other words, 
if I'm surrounded by haters and losers, I haven't worked hard enough at building my inner circle. That's my failure and not theirs. Vultures circle around those that are dying, not those that are thriving. Tell your neighbor, vultures circle around dying stuff, dead stuff, not those that are thriving. And tell your neighbor, I'm ready to thrive. I'm ready to thrive. It is God's will for you to thrive in life. It is God's will for you to continually go from glory to glory and from strength to strength. And the way to do that is by your relationship with God and your relationship with people. Amen. A leader's potential, even a leader's potential. Now, I know we got some leaders in here. You're mighty leaders and God is always raising you up to be a leader. The only reason why you follow is to lead. Amen. Amen. A leader's potential is determined by those closest to him. A leader must surround himself with people who knows his value. In other words, you need to be around people who know how valuable you are, who know how precious you are. Amen. In my, my newest book that I'll be writing, that'll be out soon, amen, there's a section in here is that I talk about women. And women should never be a, there should never be women who in their mind, got in their mind that you are a woman who need a man. But rather you should seek to be a woman who every man needs. It'll be out in a new book. I, I, I didn't mean to give you a clue that quick. <laughs> Amen? No, 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 no. <laughs> if you a lady, tell somebody, say, every man needs a woman like me. Every man. <laughs> Amen? Remember now. Amen. Remember, women are help to men. So you want to be not a woman who needs a man, but you want to be a woman that a man needs. I, 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 I ain't got into that. All right, let me move it right along. Didn't mean to tell you that. Uh, just with preview. Tell you, that was a preview, 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 special preview to a coming book. <laughs> John Maxwell said, whatever you appreciate, appreciates. And whatever you depreciate, depreciates. So we need to be around people who really value who we are. Value the relationship that they got with us. Because when you got a relationship with me, or you ought to believe when they got a relationship with you, they got a relationship with someone who's of high class. They got a relationship with somebody who is valuable. You are anointed by God, called by God, chosen of God. We are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. So when someone enters a relationship with you, they're entering a relationship with someone who has a covenant with God. That's a valuable, precious relationship. And so you and I must understand that we don't need to be around people who depreciate us, who seek to bring us down, who seek to pull us down. Because whatever people depreciate, depreciates. But whatever you appreciate, it appreciates. In other words, the more people value you, the more valuable you become. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Have you ever noticed people that ain't being taken care of properly? Yes, sir. They don't seem to take care of themselves as well as somebody who's been nurtured, somebody who's been valued. So you need to be around people in your inner circle who value you, who value your presence. Every time you show up, their eyes gleam. Amen? Amen? They feel strength because you are in their presence and you're in the presence of somebody who values you. Yeah. You want to be around people who make you feel like a million dollars. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. When, I get you, when I get around you, I should feel valued. Should feel valued. Amen? Yeah. That's why I can't stand that song, I'm just a nobody. I'm trying to tell everybody, because that, that's not the way that you should be looked at. That's not the way you should look at yourself. That's not the way you should look at anybody else. You should strive to make people feel valuable in your presence. People like being around people who value them. Hallelujah. It has been said, your friends should motivate and inspire you. Your circle should be well-rounded and supported. Keep it tight, quality, over quantity always. Let me say it again. Quality over quantity always. It's not about
having a whole lot of people around you. It's about getting quality people. One of the things that